the place for comic book and anime reviews. Hello, you guys, back to Private Campbell 12 YouTube channel. Please for your comic book anime reviews. Yeah, you guys, my review for Black Cat issue number two. We have a new gorgeous, just gorgeous looking J. Scott Campbell cover. Um, you know, I, I just wanted to get these just for the covers, if I'm being honest. Um, these covers are just gorgeous looking. Kind of like the Captain Marvel covers a lot of times. The Captain Marvel covers are also really gorgeous to look at. Um, and this was no different. Interior is pretty much the same as I like, like last year. I know it was pretty lukewarm. Warm only last time. I mean, it's pretty much the same here. Actually, I think it kind of even it feels a little bit of me, me, even a bit more of a downgrade this year. You don't have like like that awesome cover page you had in the last issue. Um, that looked really nice. Um, this really it does feel a little bit like, like a, a downgrade in the interior of the artwork. Like, look at this space that Black Cat has on her. Like, it, it it really, 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 really does not work for me at all. The artwork in this book, it's it's it's, it's not the strongest. I still don't, I don't hate it. It doesn't make me. It's not unreadable. Um, I still get it, but you know, it's like you get this gorgeous cover, gorgeous cover, and you get this kind of like kind of eh. This is a kind of weak interior artwork. I wish the interior were a little bit better than you know, and, and really like matched with the gorgeousness of the cover. But it's, it's whatever. Cause I, think, I feel like the interior, like, I know everyone loves these gorgeous covers a lot of times, but I always feel like, you know, when you're actually reading the book, the interior is way more important than the cover. Because the cover, cover at the end of the day is whatever. The cover at the end of the day is kind of like, it's, it's, it's extra, it's whatever. It's, it's, it's a nice thing to kind of look at when you have your comic books. But, like, when you're actually reading a comic book, you really want to be immersed in the story. You really want to have really strong artwork for that. And I really feel like the artwork in this book is not that strong. That being said, um, this is a really good comic book. Really good, despite all that. Like, I know that's probably liberal on the first issue, and I still am. It's, it's, still, it's not that great of a first issue. But this was much better. This was a much stronger issue. Um, than the first one was, you know, I just got the reading Champions not long ago. I I I, I, I on reading this and that deal a lot with Doctor Strange, and now we're jumping into another book that deals a lot with Doctor Strange in it. You know, we're talking a lot about like going and finding Merlin, Black Cat is, um, and I really I really am liking kind of like that concept, I like this adding this kind of mystical element to this. Basically, street hair level hero. Um, we also get to start talking a little bit about Spider Man, like her like running with Spider Man in the beginning here. I do kind of enjoy like her just like talking about like her like ideas of, of Spider Man, and you know, and I also find her that, like a lot of the other like villains uh, in her arsenal kind of like I don't think that he really is just a spider. He's really is like a really horrific creature, you know, kind of brings me back to that old idea that so Spider-Man was, Spider kind of was taken from, which is like a horror type of idea, but he's not, he's, he's just a guy in a spider suit, he's not, he's not like a spider or anything, even though that's what he kind of would be in real life. Um, anyway, you know, we, we see like Black Hat going, and she's going especially to try to catch this Merlin guy. Um, but before she even gets there, she's not going to bring out the president by some someone. We don't who she who at first she says her dad. Um, we kind of find out that it's not actually her dad, but it is a friend of her dad's. And um, we get this kind of back and forth with those two characters a little bit, which is pretty interesting. But I think probably the highlight of this book for me was probably the snake scene. Um, the it, that was the moment in the book where like everything just kind of started to work for me. Let me see where we can get to it. Should be in here. Yeah, let's skip past it. Bum, 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 bum. There it is. Snakes. Like I love this scene. This whole interaction with her and the snakes. It is great. It, it, it's probably the best part of this entire little book right here. It's, it's just an interaction with these snakes. 
Yeah, like it's just, it's just her like flirting back with it, and the snakes having like these different personalities about them and reacting these different ways to her flirtation. It's it's great and it's really fun. I really enjoy it a lot. Um, there's a lot to like about this book right here as far as the writing is concerned. I love Black Cat's voice in here. I love that we that we're kind of dealing with magic in here. I love there's definitely a lot to love here. And you know, we kind of get at the end of the issue, you know, and you know, this Xander guy gets all this magic power and uses it to his advantage, kind of like, 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 kind of like betraying him. And it's cool, and it's fun, and I really like it. Uh, so, yeah, I, I cannot want to see where this story goes going forward uh, because, you know, hopefully, I mean, it could always go downhill, but this second issue. Pretty cool idea, pretty cool concept of putting, you know, black cat Felicia Hardy into a situation that she's not used to, like a magic situation. It's it's fun. Um, so there was some black cat number two, you guys. Look up a little bit about about black cat, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.